Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, whenever you might be tuning in, I'm Doug Klingensmith with Unconventional Solutions, and this is another episode of Dr. Doug. And this is uh, basically a steel pipe, and today we want to provide some training on a popular tool when you can't afford to blast because you're concerned about combustible gases, or perhaps it's just too small of an area to worry about bringing out your blast pot and your rig or you just need a good safe way of blasting. In fact, I just got a phone call from a guy that's going to be coating the inside of a 36 inch weld and being inside the pipe, there's no real good way to get blast media in there. So he's going to be using a bristle blaster. Now a tendency for people to do with a bristle blaster is A, they either lean on it too hard, uh, B, they tend to go sideways, or C, they tend to have the accelerator bar in the wrong position. So you basically want this accelerator bar about half an inch off the steel uh, so you can maximize the efficiency. So we're going to take some black pipe here and simply show you how simple and easy this tool can be used when done properly. So as you're going in one direction, you just simply want to make sure you keep moving your, your bristle blaster back so you don't go over the same area twice, and that way you get a nice profile instead of polishing the steel. And that's as easy as it is. So I would tell you more, but basically just Make sure you have your accelerator bar at the right position away from the steel. Make sure you move in one direction and not to go back over your nicely prepared steel surface. So when done properly and using a new belt, you should get anywhere from two to three and a half mil anchor pattern, sometimes even 3.7 when you take your Texex tape and your micrometer and measure this. If you're getting below twos and you require it for your coating, it just simply means it's time to get a new belt. The belts are inexpensive, coating failure costs you money. So uh, switch out your belts often and you're sure to have a good profile every time. Again, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Dr. Doug at Unconventional Solutions, your corrosion experts and composite repair experts. Thank you much.